I'm on a semi-retired model's quest to eat my way through Hong Kong or any other city I travel to. With the help of food bloggers, I want to learn more about the culture, meet new people, and discover exciting new tastes in the places I'm in. For the last episode of Season 1, we're going to do something a little bit different. Something I've never done before. We're going to be eating and cooking at a stranger's home. Stranger's home. Stranger's home. Well, it's not really a stranger. You guys remember William from episode 3. I'm here with William from BB Egg Waffle. William and his wife own a waffle shop here and back when we were filming with them, he was like, oh, I want to show you guys around the area I grew up in and now live in and maybe cook for you. So I took him up on that offer and it's all happening today. That area is Sai Wan Ho near Shao Kei Wan Station in Hong Kong. Now first, I couldn't make a trip there without visiting the iconic Tai An building. Built in 1968, it's part of the first generation of composite buildings in Hong Kong. It sits beneath a 28-story building containing 1,884 flats. This building has a strong family-like atmosphere, and with that, its own culture. The upstairs residents, nearby neighbors, and shopkeepers all have this close-knit community that they've built over many years. This place has everything you need, and residents living above it don't even need to leave this area. It's got everything from food, electronics, doctor's offices. <laughs> That's cute. There's a ton of street food available here. A lot of snacks that students love to eat after school, noodle shops. Thai on building, iconic waffle shop. Famous for a whole bunch of stuff. Egg waffles. I read it was a hidden gem and all of this is at really low prices. So this place is definitely a foodie paradise. These self-sustaining small communities started spreading up mostly in the 1960s as the government was facing swelling population issues and it allowed people to work and live in the same unit. However, in the late 60s, the government changed the laws because of hygiene and health and by the early 70s, composite buildings stopped being constructed. Places like Taiwan Building where communities live within a building and have a strong connection and culture are really rare today. Even this place faces a great possibility of destruction in the future to be replaced with another mega mall or new housing complex. Today is all about community, family, and the customs passed down through generations. So moving from one big family bonded together by a building, let's meet our smaller local family bonded by blood. Wait, that sounds kind of intense. <laughs> kind of like a gang. You know what I mean, they, they, they were born into the same. Hello, I'm Charina, I grew up in Sewan Ho and now I show you around uh, Shaki Wan. Yeah, <laughs> and this is William. Yeah, William, <laughs> yeah, William again. <laughs> so where are we going first? And now we're going to uh, have a noodles. Noodles, uh, yeah. is this a famous place in this yes. area? Yeah. yeah. Why is it famous? Uh, because the uh, pork chop is very, very good. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's local people like come here. Yeah. yeah. It's quick, it's cheap, it's tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, this is sweet, isn't it? Sweet? I think. I think. You want not too sweet? Wait. Oh wait, they're both sweet. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you ask for, they'll give you what they want to give you. Ready? Wow, the rice noodles are so thick here. Different texture than I usually see. Mm. The rice noodles are different. They're like squished, like different texture. This stuff is my favorite. I love, I love these kind of noodle dishes. I could, yeah, they're so good. Try the potato noodles. What do you think of the potato? Spicy. Spicy? Spicy, then. The test is chewy. Mm. Let's try. Mm. 
That's really good too. Yeah. It numbs your lips. You can't feel your tongue in your lips. Numb. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The lip is numb. Yeah, it's a weird sensation. Yeah. It's a little bit numb. Uh, this style is the China, uh, north of China. <laughs> this is really good for a diet. I can't pick up anything. It's so smooth. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to go in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Go ping! Okay. <laughs> floor here is a uh, many shop is repair the car. The car. Because now it's changed. Uh -huh. Many restaurants here. So this street is mainly restaurants yes. now? Yes, 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 yes. Many Why why did they change that? Why did the car business stop? Because many estate, new estate here, uh, many people is uh, living here. Oh. So strange. Yeah, here. Here? Yeah. Oh, it's a dessert place. It's the desserts, the Chinese desserts and fish ball and oh. siu mai. Oh. The siu mai is uh, very famous. Oh, really? Here, yes. Why is it, why is it different? Many star here because it's homemade. Homemade. Whoa. And it's sweet. Yeah, and it's sweet. How long have has she been making? How many does she make a day? So like 2,000, maybe, <laughs> every day, no days off. You, yeah, every day. Wow. Well, she passed this down to her sons. Do her sons also make this? Oh. After finishing our lunch, dessert, and a snack, it was time to head to the nearby wet market. So we just come to Sai Wan Ho Market where we can find all the ingredients that we're gonna use to make dinner tonight. We're gonna meet up with their mother and do some of the shopping. We're learning that the, the things with E and numbers are no good, that there's chemicals or enhancers. So that's a trick in Hong Kong. I didn't know that. Now I know. So you guys all live in this area? Yes. The whole family? Uh, she lives over there. Over there? Yeah, she lives. Uh, I sleep here. I, I live here. My and mother your mom's there. Yeah, yeah. And your sister? Sister is also, also here. So do you all eat together every night? Uh, usually, yeah, usually. Usually, everyone usually, after yeah. work goes yeah. to your mom's house? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jay! I'm working for my dinner. I'm an English teacher now. <laughs> If not, you got no dinner tonight. <laughs> okay, kids, listen up. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, are we putting, we're putting in barriers now. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Oh, <laughs> I self-destructed. Okay, I guess you that one. Pickled ginger. Hong Kong style. It's yeah. different. Hi. Good. Mm. You like it? A little bit of garlic too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, this this episode has turned into let's let the guai mui try all the garlic. Guai mui eat all the food. You don't believe this uh, garlic is uh, 
you, when you taste, you you will feel uh, sweet. Oh, it's sweet. Yeah. It's different taste of garlic. Oh, it looks like it went bad. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you want to eat it with me? Do you like it? It looks like garlic. Really? Oh, you already ate it. We're supposed to do a cheers. Cheers. <laughs> He's <laughs> <It's> free. <laughs> okay. It's not like you think about it. It's sweet. Yeah, it's almost like you're eating a candy. Like it's candy. more sweet, but not really. I don't know what flavor that is. <laughs> Like a soy sauce candy, <laughs> sweet soy sauce candy or something. You like that? See, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. Mom prepared a feast that included a bunch of family favorite dishes, such as stir fried kale with garlic, ketchup shrimp. Yes, that sauce is made from actual ketchup. Squid, tomato and potato soup, scallops with lily bulbs. And fish cakes with sweet and sour sauce. Good this one. What's your favorite food? Fruit? <laughs> really? <laughs> what kind? <laughs> Mango. Wow, you're so healthy. <laughs> Thank you. Can you make that sauce? Sure. We started this series out not really knowing where it would take me. We, we just picked topics and planned things as we went along. And I was hoping to find something that would challenge me, help me to meet new people, and teach me more about Hong Kong, the place I live in now. But it did so much more than that. Besides the food, I got to learn so many new things about a culture that isn't my own. I got to hear people's stories, both about the past and the present, and listen to their worries about the future. And usually when I would eat or dine somewhere, it would be with my boyfriend, my friends, my family, people that I know. And I have to say that dining with strangers has really given me an unexpected refreshment my life. What I found in this series is a new sense of belonging, warmth, and just a really strong feeling of kindness from the community around me. Not only from like what they gave me, but what they give back. There's a lot of places that gave back to the community. There's a lot of places that, you know, whether that be through money and donations or, or like hiring people in the local areas or volunteering or just you know, keeping the culture going, adhering to different dietary standards. There's, there's so many ways that food relates and connects to the communities around it and, and, and it sort of works hand in hand. So if you take one thing away from this series, besides going out and trying some really good Chinese food if you can find it in your area, I want it to be that you try and have an open mind. Get out, try new things, talk to people, and just really connect with your surroundings. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did filming it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you guys. Thank oh, you so much for today. You're welcome. Bye! 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 He trolls him. Yeah. Can you 
say what just happened? Please. I, I just I asked now. Natalie to film Spider-Man and she literally had a meltdown. I've never heard her swear so much in her life. That's not effing Spider-Man, Taylor. It's effing Deadpool. Get your Marvel people straight. Like, you know that Spider-Man doesn't have a sword, right? I don't know what he... There's so many, I don't know if there is something new. He's, he's gonna take me out right now. He's gonna do something to me right now. What's happening? Yeah, just keep her. How do you feel? Finish the foodie series. I don't want to eat anymore. I'm just really tired but happy. Yeah? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah, I have fun because like some of the places, if it's not a foodie that brings me to there, then probably I won't know where is it. And I, I like, secret is that all those restaurants that we went to, I actually go back to it to, like later by myself or with my family. Yeah. So it's not that we just recommend it to you guys and then no, we don't go there. But I actually went, went back there like very often. Me too. So do try. <laughs> yeah.